p so let's see what happens explain it so first of all in this scenario right here you have protons versus protons and there's a couple protons players that actually send the probe down after a pylon scout right and so they normally can find out even if it's a gateway scout to come up and try to find the forge right because most of the time they come up the ramp they see the forge and the pylon so what I do is I actually send the first probe out to make a pylon and then I have it loop all the way around to get a forge and hide the forge that way when the probe comes in scouts around doesn't see anything or sometimes misses the pylon and is going to miss the forge so while I'm doing that while the probe is going up I'm taking about 10 probes over to my opponents with the probe rush and I keep pumping out of my main base what this is going to allow me to do is afford my cannons that I'm going to come in to uh, make but I need to make three pylons to wall up first so uh, as he's coming in he's scouting he's like wait what well it doesn't look like a rush because he has probes here so something's weird but I just can't tell what it is he did say he's, a he he's AFK and then I come over here and go to my my opponent I see two pylons being made and two gateways <clears throat> now in a Probius rush, normally you end up going over to your opponent's base right here uh, and attacking his probes. In this one, you don't want to attack his probes, you want to attack his pylons. You want to take out the pylons so that the zealons don't keep making uh, out of that gateway. And at the same time, you're also distracting your, your opponent. You want to distract him to a look at this area so that he can't look at this area. He's going to go, you see how his screen doesn't see that bottom piece? He's going to be looking at this screen like this. Because that's kind of in the center of the pylon and the war. So I'm cut off from actually my vision of this area. So I come in, attack. This probe right here is already hiding, right? Now one probe hiding doesn't look suspicious when you're doing probe rush because... The probe rush is already the alarm bell. It's like, well, this could be one of those stray probes that just don't matter to me. All the, all that matters is this guy has probes right here taking on my pylon, so I gotta go kill those right there. So we're kind of busy thinking how many probes should we send, or should we send them all. Um, while that's going on, this probe is going over to the other side of the, the battle. Alright, so now we go. Oh. Now if we look at his vision, this is his vision right here, this is my vision right here. My vision's making my pylons, his vision is at my probes. So while this is going on with his vision, he's like, okay, well, good, I got the, wait, what? And then he's like, what the hell is this? Yeah, and so, the good thing about the Probius rush, right, is that you distract them, you take out the pylon, the you know do some damage once I took this pylon out I came over here to harass these probes that are gonna try to kill my pylon <clears throat> and by doing that that's gonna distract him from being able to take out that cannon in time so this is actually a very important stage right here of this cannon rush you get the probes to actually whittle these probes down so that they don't whittle the pylon down so that the cannon goes up You distract the, the Z lot with the probes because as long as this goes up quick and uh, you keep a pylon up, it's good. It's good on your part. You're microing and you're macroing. Look at how many probes are, are mining on your side. Very uh, decent uh, quantity. God, what is that? That's ten. Ten probes. He's not. He's mining off of two. Most of them are have been pretty much running around for most of the game. He lost his life with the micro. Now making more cannons because I could afford it with the with the uh, probes that are mining right here. Now in this stage, 
you can't actually go out and make another base you don't have the resources and if you do it's going to take you forever because you have to get away from this area where the cannons reach and because of that then you're on two three pro uh patches trying to get enough for 400 you're dead pretty much you're 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 dead protoss once this cannon goes up because of how early it is and how fast they, you've been reduced from mining any gas or any minerals because you're defending your pylon and then you're defending your uh, yourself from a cannon rush so all of that is a factor in this in this rush whereas if I lose these probes it doesn't matter to me too much because I'm getting the cannon up and the more important part is that I have a nice healthy amount of probes over here at my main base to be able to do a follow-up macro direction uh, if if he's wounded in some way and he's thinking he's gonna be able to like survive the game from here yeah you know maybe send a zealot he'll send a zealot over to my base and then my pros will micro his zealots a couple of little things that could happen but nothing nothing big after this I pretty much just sealed him in uh, the coffin he just got to nail himself in with a GG or no GG don't know oh yeah yeah but this is Milton Milton's a really good uh, viewer that I ran into in ladder and we have respect in our in our group we respect each other so thank you so much Milton masters player um, GG God man you are the god of strategy I wonder why 